Hello there everyone, this is me again, Ryan. I uh, just got off the um, station here in my local neighborhood here in Adachi Coop. Sorry if I look a little tired. I've been busting my balls recently, trying to work more and make some more money, but I'm not tired enough to notice something that happened today, right? Um, what I predicted was going to happen all along has finally come to pass. Ladies and gentlemen, the Japanese government has officially taken over our good friends at TEPCO. Right? So, 13 billion US dollars, about a trillion yen, give or take a few. They've injected into the um, power company. So, in effect, and I'm not afraid to say this, the Japanese government had decided that the, the Japanese people need to pay for their own poisoning, which is really sad. You know, after everything TEPCO has let go down, after all the incompetence, after all the even refusing to make things twice as complicated, even get the money they owe you for nuclear damages, the Japanese government is going to sit here and buy this company out and save it. It's so clear that people here in Japan don't want nuclear power anymore. Not after this whole Fukushima thing, right? And Japanese government is apparently doing the exact opposite of what the people want. Which is no surprise, I mean, the Japanese government really doesn't listen to anyone except the Japanese government and those who line their pockets. So this is what we got, right? For years, the nuclear industry paid off the regulatory boards, paid off politicians through donations, through various, various side companies. They find ways to do this. Right, the system is set up to allow these type of loopholes. Right, they do this all these years, and finally, something really heinous goes down. The people, you know, demanding some justice out of this, demanding that the right thing be done, and the government turns right around, and does the exact opposite. Now, I told you guys they were going to do this. I smelled this coming months ago. Of course, they're gonna take over TEPCO. It's Idano, the minister of the METI, METI oversees the Japan nuclear power industry and oversees the regulatory committee and also oversees the safety committee. This guy was talking about this months ago. Uh, the first hint I got, and I made a video about this a while back where he said TEPCO must consider all options including state takeover. So as soon as Idano said that I knew what the JGov's agenda was is to get their hands on TEPCO. Now this gives I believe the Japanese government pretty much a two-thirds stake it may be that high but it's high enough to them to have uh, the rights to handpick management of the company. Now that may turn out to be a good thing. Out of all this madness, you know, having Japanese people pay for their own poisoning. There may be a silver lining here that, if we're lucky, we'll get. Now if the Japanese government is going to have the right to handpick and choose management, well then the people of Japan can get behind this and put maybe some pressure on them to put the right people in. Now what I'm hoping doesn't happen is they found a bunch of damn government bureaucrats and put them in control of the company. That would be disastrous because it's really clear that the government bureaucrats who are involved in nuclear power here in Japan most of them used to work for these damn companies TEPCO included and on top of that you know they've already been proven to take donations and all this jive from the nuclear industry. Bribes, payoffs, kickbacks. Yeah. So, 
If you put those cats in there, yeah, that's going to be horrible. And that's not going to benefit anybody. Whoa, we lost our face. It's kind of dark around this corner. There I am. Anyways, that would be bad. Now, the good thing that, would, that could happen here, if they can handpick management, is they're going to choose people, choose people who are neutral. People who don't have something to gain or something to lose by being placed to oversee it in management. Um, I don't know where they're going to find these type of people. Maybe you have um, nu neutral nuclear um, physicists or professors who have a business and background. Uh, independent investors could get promoted. Certain influential shareholders who have the right mind not to fuck things up more than it already is. Those type of people will be a much better choice than a bunch of damn bureaucrats. Ah, green light. Taking over. So we may still get some type of, like, silver lining with all of this. But, you know, I'm not hoping or expecting that to go down because the Japanese government, man, the way they've handled everything... We should expect them to put in a bunch of damn paid-off bureaucrats. But we should demand they put in people a bit more neutral and a bit more wise and a bit more smarter. Because we've already lost what we wanted. The best case scenario was to let TEPCO deal with it. All right? Dig deeper. What happened to all that money we've been giving to them all those years? I still haven't had those que that question answered. What happened to all that, those billions, trillions of yen that we paid to these people all these years to supply us with cheap energy? That's what I want answered. Where's the money, TEPCO? Where's the money? You still haven't answered that one. You still haven't made it clear. Who's the fault? Who's the blame? You're still hiding. And now your butt's gonna get fired. And probably someone worse than you is gonna take over. That's what we're dealing with right now here in Japan. The government just bought out the company that poisoned every one of us. The government just bought out the company that lied paid off, corrupted the government. Yeah, bad move. We want to see them suffer because they deserve it. We want to see their company get sold off to the highest bidder. We had a fresh start. We had a fresh group of investors take over. But no, we're not getting that. We're getting the JGov coming in to save us all. And save TEPCO. Hmm. You know, did the Japanese government bother to, ask, bother to ask the Japanese people if we here on the island wanted TEPCO to be saved? Did they bother to ask us, do we want nuclear power? No. They just do whatever the hell they want to do. So, that's my two cents on things, okay? So it's me and Ryan here in um, Adachiku, Tokyo. Till next time.